What's up guys, John Ross here over at Active Water Sports taking a look at the all new 2022 Axis T220. Let's go take a look at this all new boat from Axis. All new boat for the year, replacing last year's T22. You're gonna see some of the new features with me today, so come on aboard. Big things for the year. You've been asking for it, they listen. Hinge seats, easier to access, ice chest, deep storage for all your gear, life jackets, wakeboard, skis, scooting these back down, standard uh, wake view seating, still here, awesome little styling cues that you're going to notice throughout your cabin, new grab handles, um, some soft step material here to set your phones on, cup holders pretty much stay the same. Coming through the cabin over here, we're going up to the bow real fast gonna notice another big improvement trash can awesome and then a nice hybrid style bow so unlike the a series it's still kind of a traditional bow but it is a little bit wider than the outgoing model so you can fit three to four people up here no problem plenty of space to hang out and enjoy the day our in the all new t220 is the standard m5 monsoon motor by malibu you can equip it with the m6 but with this boat it's more than enough you're gonna notice our plug and play bags and uh, ballast. And then one other new feature for the year will be our uh, ski pylon. It's just like the Malibu now, instead of being fixed and stubbing your toes on it, it is really nice and it can retract when you're not using it. As we move over here, we're gonna take a look at the dash for the 2022 Axis lineup. You're gonna notice the biggest change right away. Seven inch display put on by Garmin. They're an awesome company, well known in the marine industry. Over here, you're gonna see everything on this screen basically takes all the toggle switches from previous years, puts it on your screen. You'll see your ballast controls, your cruise control, power wedge, all your lighting, your heaters, and a really cool vital screen that looks like a fighter jet. Moving down below, you're gonna see the sport dash. Similar to Malibu, takes all the small buttons off the screen and puts them on these really easy to press big buttons. So as a driver, you don't have to take your attention away from the rider. One more down, you're gonna see your horn, press to start just like the Malibu, getting rid of the key system. It's gonna be a one, two, three, four. Once you guys own the boat, you can change your code um, to any four digit number that you'd like. Throttle over here, new design, little sportier look and it translates into the steering wheel, which we have this nice flat bottom race car and the Bayard steering wheel. Same head unit, Wet Sounds is doing an awesome job over here. And up top, you're gonna see there's a couple different options. This boat is equipped with the uh, wireless charger. If you don't go for this, it's just a standard phone holder with a piece of soft stuff. You've seen how easy it is to set up over here. Let's take a look at that surf wave with the surf gate system.